Let's try the foundations. Let's go to selection 3 and then change the properties. Then to element and category. Category we need foundation ones. Structural foundations. I am selected and now I want these elements to this, to this line. Okay, let's take it off from the scene. Right button, then quantification and take off two foundations. And now I have 59, yeah, 59 items to this, to this rock breaking system number, this spot, this foundations. And now everything's okay with length, with the points, with the area, with the volume, and what about the weight? So we have opportunity to make our own parameter in Revit, you know it, and then add some data to it, and now I want to calculate it in Navisworks, but it didn't it didn't make it from scratch by himself, and we want to help him. We want to tell Navisworks that we want some special parameter. Let's take the element, and you should know that we added a special parameter to the type parameters, so we have to Find it in it in the Revit type or Revit type category properties, and here is the parameter VC mass, and we want this, these values get to, to this field. Okay, and first we want to get it, of course, in the model weight. Let's go to the item catalog, and let's tell the Navisworks that we need this particular field for this particular um, property. And we can not only to add formulas to length, to model length, we can make the rules to map the um, properties from the items. Let's go into it. And, and we want model weight. Oh, okay. And let's do the mapping. Let's choose the category, the category of the properties, the private type category. And now we want our particular property. This one, this mass. Okay, and now we've just told the network that we want this this property of this element to our identification workbook. And let's go back. Let's go back, and we got nothing, nothing new, because we have to update our model, our our identification project. And when we change in something, something in item catalogs, in item calculations. It's coming very fast from scratch, but when we're changing something in item map rules, we have to update our model. Ok, and let's press this button, and let's changing. And now we can see that in this, in these items, in this takeoff, in this takeoff we have something new. And he highlighted the thing what has changed. And now we have to change it. So now we know it, and now let's change it. So let's choose this, this part, this takeoff, then press the right button and select all takeoffs off. And then let's go to update, and update selected from model. And now we have new information in model weight, and then the weight is here, and the weight is here. And of course, we can go to the item catalog if we need, and in item calculations we can make more formulas for it, and for example, we can do something like this one, and let's go back to quantification workbook, and now, yeah, we've changed not, this, not the weight, but the weight, so let's go to the weight, and let's go here, and this one, okay, go to back to this one, and now we can see that we can make special rules and then make special formulas to this value. So you should know that you can map every special takeoff, every part of the item catalog with this very special pro property of your element as you, as you want.